you guys have asked, so I'm here to deliver. Have you ever imagined a world where Batman is evil? And I don't mean the DC universe. I don't mean no world with superheroes, magic, mumbo jumbo, stuff like that. I mean the real world. If Batman existed and he was evil, what would that world look like? This is the story of Nemesis, the evil Batman. This is going to be a collection of Nemesis stories, so just get some popcorn, get some drinks, sit down and listen because trust me this story gets wild all right so we pick up our story with an old man and an old woman living on the outskirts of los angeles his wife has clearly bothered him to go check who was at the door because she was hearing some sounds and he did but he found nothing when he came back something was off his wife looked agitated she looked afraid being a very caring husband, he simply asked her, what's up with you, babe? And she looked at him and said, he's underneath the bed. <laughs> with a very psychotic smile, he grinned. I was terrified. Then continuing in Los Angeles, we follow a very rich man, a very rich gangster, talking to his crew about movies. Him and his shorty were just cruising in the car until the shadow approached. A shadow that looked like a bat, but it wasn't. Nemesis came crashing through the car, picking up the gangster and dashing out like a phantom, like a beast. <laughs> Nobody could react. His shorty was confused. All they could do was watch as he went soaring through the sky. Like I said, this was the real world. So all they could do is call the cops. We see where the gangster ended up. With blindfolds on and headphones on, he was in a pool with some other gangsters Nemesis had gathered. These people were all lieutenants or commanders of their own street gangs. And Nemesis filled their pockets with daggers and weapons and told all of them, do not take off your blindfolds, because if you do, you will die on the spot. You have weapons in your pockets. Everyone around you is your rival. Kill as much people as you can. The last person standing wins everything. We see the gangster who Nemesis just brought in look confused and angry. I'm not going to play your stupid game, but before he could complete his sentence, he was stabbed in the back. The frenzy began. Everyone was simply just killing each other because they thought this was the best way to survive. But Nemesis just turned to his back and we see a crowd of people. The second in command were all assembled. Nemesis told them simply, this is the outcome. I am not here to muscling on your territory. I just need some minions for my next operation now. Do you all agree or do we have any objections? Struck with fear, no one complained. And when the last person stood out in the pool, he asked, do I win? Do I get to live? But suddenly, blam, he shot in the head. There is no need for you guys to be shocked. This is who Nemesis is. <laughs> he smiled. Let's get to business. We then follow Nemesis on the coolest bike I have ever seen except from the bad cycle. This guy was casually rushing through traffic, running over people, shooting ramps, and jumping with them. But he had a plan. He wasn't just jumping randomly. He jumped, jumping off of his bike and crashing through a gala that was taking place beneath. Like a boss, as soon as he landed, he went to work. He annihilated every single rich prick. In this building with his katana he cut some leg off cut some heads off one guy was trying to run away but nope no escape he tossed his katana and impaled him in his skull nemesis was at peace this is what he loves to do and when his henchmen came through they asked do you want us to kill people he said nah just drop the weapons it was quite clear the nemesis only wanted them to carry his weapons when their job was complete, he let them rob the place clean. For this was a party with some of the richest people in the city. There was a lot to take. We then see the mayor and his wife getting congratulations at their party because apparently he just won the election. While that was happening, the police had started to surround Nemesis and his crew. To the normal people that were his crewmates, they were afraid. It's 15 to 20 cars outside his boss, but Nemesis smiled. For he knew he was a boss. He knew he was like that. He had traveled the world from 10 years old to train just to cause chaos. He smiled. Give it a minute. The cars are not enough. <laughs> Back at the mayor's party though, 
the mayor was looking for the head of the police force, the new captain he just hired. But suddenly a body dropped from the roof. It was the exact captain he was looking for. Then the lights went out from the whole city. And when he came back on, they saw Nemesis. He was everywhere. Jumbotrons, bars, restaurants. He told the people, right now, the city is mine. Shooting a cop directly in the head. We see he had massacred every single police officer that came to arrest him. And he did all of this on live on Instagram. <laughs> when he was done, he let the world know, I will be paying $10,000 for every police cop's head you bring to me. And we see 800,000 people were watching this live. So you know shit's about to pop off in the next issue. This is the end of issue one though. If you want more, please like, subscribe, and share. God bless. Thank you for rocking with me. Peace.